so i am uh, completely aware of the situation you guys uh, my inbox is flooded and uh, it has been flooded since last night uh, especially with the two questions um, that apparently got leaked now i am by no means in a position to confirm or deny but i think the writing is on the wall my confirmation or denial is kind of meaningless right at this point but uh, it is frustrating it is extremely extremely demotivating as a teacher i don't know how students are feeling how parents are feeling but uh, the it's it's uh, i mean I, I, at this point i don't even know what to say except that we need to be very vocal now something that i said earlier also is, i'll say it again that we need to be very vocal about this uh, every student who messaged me with those questions that apparently came in the exam also uh did it with good intention you know this time this time it was uh, i students have also are, are now gradually realizing that leak or paper getting cancelled is definitely not a good thing because even if let's say you do get a free reset you still end up paying with your time you end up paying with your energy or your a level uh, gets compromised so there there is no such thing as a as a free reset okay now whatever we will we'll have to find out whether they are now a free reset or not i'm not by any means saying that there will be one but i'm just saying that they can't just compensate every year by saying that oh okay we're sorry the paper got leaked now here you are here's a free reset there you go enjoy so we need to be vocal about it parents need to be vocal about it students and uh, it's it's not it's not something that students find it uh, it's helpful at this point you know if a paper gets leaked then i've noticed that students have been very ethical majority of them i'm sure some students would have benefited and they have been very uh, morally upright and uh, they did report the leaks to british council and i'm attaching two email addresses i would like to i would like you guys also to report whatever piece of evidence that you have whatever uh whatever it is that you have uh, just send it uh, attach the two uh, attach the images send it to them and tell them you know this is what the ground reality is i mean i, I don't know they 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 seem to be quite oblivious to what is the situation what is the actual situation and how students are suffering day in day out and uh, it's it's very difficult i understand as a, as a teacher i find it i mean i had to really push myself after p1 to find the motivation to teach because i was afraid that if god forbid uh if the news comes that p1 will not be graded anymore and now your entire grade will be given on the basis of m1 s1 so i really had to push myself to make my students work hard and uh, so that if their entire grade would have been decided on the basis of m1 it, they do end up they, they end up doing well in m1 but now considering what's happened i don't even know how you guys are going to get your grade but what i do know is that you guys need to do something about it and uh, i think the best way the best thing we can do right now obviously we can't physically get in touch with them but if anyone has contacts if anyone has some uh, you know maybe a relative of yours is a school head a relative of yours is a principal or working at british council or know someone who's working at british council so use those contacts you know time to pull whatever string you can and uh, sis give them tell them exactly what's going on uh there are images multiple of multiple questions circulating on social media hours before the exam you know uh usually it's it's like you know if, if the paper gets leaked like just a couple of minutes before the exam i wouldn't say that's understandable but i would say that maybe you know there is like a small flaw in the system which needs to be fixed but the paper is getting leaked like days before the exam so that means there is like a major mole that's that's the only explanation reasonable explanation that i can come up with there is a major mole uh, where i don't know i'm not going to blame anyone at this point but there is definitely a major mole who is uh, leaking information and students and parents and us teachers are paying the price i mean i i don't i think the price what the, the price that teachers pay is com- is very small comp- compared to the price that students pay i mean if you if you guys get a free reset then it's still a major hassle that you have to go through i mean you still have to you know get up for the exam but you i'm mean, first of all you have to study for it all over again and you know the way that students study i know i i was a student myself not very long ago it's that majority of the students start studying towards the end and you know that is when they do most of the most of their best work now and then 
as soon as you're done with the exam you tend to forget because it's not it's not priority anymore so now you will have to if there is a free reset i think it's just going to be chaotic but yeah i mean uh, what i have to say is that get your voice out there reach out to british council reach out to cambridge email them as much as you can get a response out of them tell them that this is what the ground reality is so they open their eyes to see what's going on and uh, just just be respectful obviously that doesn't mean that you start cursing the hell out of them or something like that uh, be respectful be polite just you have a very solid uh, case so there's no need to get rowdy or disrespectful but yeah uh, put it out there okay they i i i think considering how clear it was that the paper is compromised this time especially for m1 they should have should have done something about it and they haven't which means that they're probably unaware you know that's the only explanation that i can come up with so you guys need to be more vocal and reach out to them inform them what's going on and see what they say so yeah that's all i have to say and i do wish you guys the best of luck of the exams that are left i know it's a difficult time it's uh, these are demotivating times but study hard for the remaining exams and uh, you know just just forget about what's happened however don't completely let this go that is not mean that you completely let this go and pretend it never happened but uh, you need to take action but don't let this influence your other papers okay so take care keep studying there are still a lot of exams uh, i'll see you guys inshallah in the next video take care love is